Hello, it's good to be with you today. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I want to talk to you about the coming Messiah that's found in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, one of the great chapters in the Bible. The 53rd chapter of Isaiah is a prophecy about the Lord Jesus Christ, who will bring salvation to the world. Isaiah points a picture of a suffering servant, and that he was. He was despised and rejected. He was wounded and bruised. Also is described as an unattractive servant who would know heartache and sorrow. The life he lived was not the cause of his sufferings. He did no wrong. He committed no sin. He was blameless and he only spoke the truth and he didn't deserve all the things that happened to him. Yet he would be led to prison and then put to death for our sins, and the sufferings for our sins was a horrible thing. In Isaiah 50 through and 1, it says, Who has believed, or who has trusted, or who has relied on and clung to our message of that which is revealed unto us? A question, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed in the Amplified Bible? In verse number two, it goes on to say, For the servant of God grew up before him like a tender plant and like a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness or no royalty or kingly or no pomp. There, there's not anything about him like that, that we should look at him and there's no beauty that we should desire him. He goes on to say that he was despised and rejected of men a man of sorrow and pains and acquainted with grief and sickness. Folks, I don't know about you, but when I read this chapter and I think about all the things Jesus did for all of us, it makes me appreciate how much our wonderful Lord went through and paid for our sins. Thank the Lord today that he's a good Savior today. One of the men who would uh, hide their faces, of men who would hide their faces from him, he was so despised, we did not appreciate his worth or, or did esteem him whatsoever or give him any credibility whatsoever. Verse 4 says, uh, Surely he has borne our griefs and he has carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken and smitten by God and afflicted. We didn't esteem him so much that we thought he was under condemnation from God himself. Uh, and God, uh, God was not sending him to the cross to condemn him because of anything he'd done. But thank God he sent him to the cross because he loved us and he died for our sins. But it tells us, goes on to say in that chapter, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Oh, that's a wonderful promise right there. Remember, Jesus suffered for all of us today, and by his stripes we are healed. You can can't claim healing in your body today if you believe in Jesus Christ and trust in him. We know it's appointed unto man once to die. But while we live on this earth, we have great access to calling on the Lord to heal and touch our bodies when we get sick. It goes on to say, and all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid up on him the iniquities of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led like a lamb to a slaughter, and what a slaughter it was. The cross was a terrible, horrible incident that took place. Uh, no one would want to go there and look at that horrible scene that happened. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And the reason it pleased the Lord is because he became an offering for our sin. Throughout the Old Testament, they offered animals of sacrifices for, our, for the sins of the people. Jesus became the ultimate sacrifice and gave his life. Shouldn't we love him today with all of our heart today? Shouldn't we reach out to him and say, thank you, Jesus, because you paid the price for our sins today? Would you love him back today and give him praise and thank him because he loved you? This is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you for listening to this video today.